Hi, my name is Dr. John Thomas. You are watching this video because either you or someone you love suffers with a thyroid issue. What I'm going to do over the next few minutes is explain to you that you just don't have a thyroid problem. In fact, it is physiologically impossible for you just to have a thyroid issue. So what I'm going to do is explain to you is that you are suffering from what we call a web of physiological dysfunction. And from this, you're going to see that to truly relieve yourself of thyroid symptoms, you have to fix the whole person and not just the part. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're talking about is thyroid. Now, how do you know you have a thyroid problem? Well, you've been to your doctor, they've read blood work, it's been abnormal, and you've been diagnosed with a thyroid issue, or you have all the symptoms. Okay? Now, what are the symptoms of somebody with thyroid? Okay? First off, let me talk about the thyroid itself. Right? Our thyroid is so important to our body because every single cell in our body has receptors for thyroid hormone. And the key to proper thyroid function is getting just the right amount of thyroid into the cell, not too much, and not too little. Now, when you don't get the proper amount in, that's when you develop symptoms. Now, symptoms of somebody that suffers with a thyroid issue are things like uh, fatigue or sluggishness, uh, you gain weight easily, uh, morning headaches, uh, you get coldness in your hands or your feet, um, you get depressed, your hair starts to thin, um, you have insomnia, possibly you have heart palpitations or an inward trembling feeling. These are all symptoms of poor thyroid function. Okay. So now let's look at this web and see how the rest of our body can truly affect our thyroid. So the first part of this web we're going to talk about is our brain. Now there are many parts of our brain, but I'm going to talk about three main parts today and how that affects somebody with a thyroid issue. The first part is the frontal lobe. Now how do you know you have a problem with the frontal lobe? Well, you have personality changes. Maybe you have very, very poor, bad judgment. You make wrong decisions pretty frequently. Um, you have poor insight on things. Okay? Those are all symptoms of somebody that has a poor functioning frontal lobe. The next part of the brain we're talking about is a parietal lobe. Our parietal lobe is a part of the brain that allows us to feel things. So if you have symptoms of numbness, tingling, burning, uh, you have a poor functioning parietal lobe. For instance, if you're watching this video and you're sitting there and you have pain, that is not normal, okay? That could be a sign that you have a poor functioning parietal lobe. The next part of the brain we're going to talk about is our temporal lobe. Now, when you have a poor functioning temporal lobe, you have symptoms of forgetfulness. For instance, you walk into a room and you forget why you walked in there. You're constantly forgetting where you put your keys. Um, you're talking to somebody and mid-sentence, you just completely forget what you're talking about. Those are all signs of a poor function in temporal lobe. So if you have any of the symptoms I just talked about, any of those three parts of your brain, you not only have a thyroid problem, but you have a brain problem. The next part of this web is our colon. Now, how do you know you have a colon problem? Well, you get symptoms of diarrhea, possibly uh, pretty constant constipation. You have to take laxatives frequently to move your bowels. Or you have IBS symptoms, meaning you alternate pretty frequently between diarrhea and constipation. The next part of this web is our stomach. Now, how do you know you have a stomach problem? Well, you have uh, a lot of bloating sensation, you belch or you burp frequently, um, you have a lot of stomach pain when you eat, you get a lot of burning. Uh, maybe it increases when you lie down. You're the person that has to take a lot of antacids all the time after meals, especially with spicy foods, not to have that burning sensation. Those are all symptoms of somebody that has a stomach problem. The next part of this web is our small intestines. Now, somebody that has a problem with our small intestines is you give frequent indigestion. Possibly you have... Uh, frequent nausea, maybe you vomit from time to time, okay? You also have difficulty losing weight. Now, small intestines are important because most of the absorption of the nutrients that we eat from our food takes place in the small intestines. So if you have symptoms of chronic fatigue, well, you could have a small intestine problems and you're just not able to absorb the nutrients from the food we eat, okay? So not only do you have a small a thyroid problem, but you could have a small intestines problem. That's something that has to be looked at. The next part is our gallbladder. Now, how do you know you have an issue with your gallbladder? 
okay? Well, maybe you get a lot of pain in this region of your body, okay, especially when you eat. Maybe you have a lot of gas and a lot of bloating. Uh, you have dry skin, dry, you have dry, thinning hair. Um, you have unexplained itchy skin, okay? These can be all symptoms of somebody that has a thyroid or a gall, gallbladder problem. Now, you can still have all these symptoms even if you've had your gallbladder removed, okay? So, if you have any of those things I just talked about, well, you just don't have a thyroid problem, you possibly have a gallbladder problem. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna circle these four things we just talked about, kind of like a kidney bean shape around them, and I'm just gonna simply call that our gut. Okay, so if you have symptoms of anything I just talked about, you just don't have a thyroid problem, you've got a gut problem. Now, this is important because up to 80% of our immune function is in our gut. So if you are one of those people that maybe you get sick more frequently than everybody else you know, or when you do get sick, you're very, very slow to recover, well, you've probably got a poor functioning gut, which means you have a poor functioning immune system. Now, another part about gut is there is a huge connection between our brain and our gut. Meaning, if you've got a problem with your guts, there's a pretty good chance you have a problem with your brain. And if you've got a problem with your brain, well, there's a pretty good chance that you've got a problem with your gut. Okay? So, if you have been diagnosed with a thyroid issue, and you've got symptoms of poor gut function or brain, poor brain function, these have to be addressed to fix your thyroid. Okay? The next part of our web is our blood sugar. Now this is important. Okay? This is one of my five priorities with patients. The reason is is because blood sugar is the number one stressor in our body. Okay? Normal blood sugar should be between 85 and 99. When your blood sugar gets too low, you can get symptoms. And when your blood sugar gets too high, you can get symptoms. Now the problem is when our blood sugar gets too high or too low, what it can do is it can adversely affect our brain as well as other parts of our body like our thyroid. Now how do you know you have a blood sugar problem? Well, symptoms, okay? You get symptoms of you crave uh, sugar frequently, all the, you crave sugar all the time, you have fatigue with meals, uh, possibly have difficulty losing weight, you have more of a, um, an abnormal, uh, you know, girth to weight, uh, um, you know, hip to waist ratio, um, you're shaky or irritable when you miss meals, those are all symptoms of something that's got a blood sugar problem. Like I said, this is the number one stress in our body, and to me, it is one of the priorities that has to be addressed, okay, with somebody that has a thyroid issue. Now, how do you know you have a blood sugar issue? We can do that through testing. The next parts of our web are our adrenal glands. Okay? Now, our adrenal, somebody that has problems with their adrenal glands is possibly you, um, you crave salt after meals, um, you have that afternoon fatigue, that kind of 2.30 uh, you know, crash after lunch, um, you have headaches pretty frequently, um, you're a slow morning starter, possibly you have difficulty falling asleep, um, you, you gain weight easily, especially in, in stressful situations. Those are all signs of somebody that has poor functioning adrenal glands. Now, this is important because of two things. The first thing is your adrenal glands release a hormone called cortisol. Okay. Now, Cortisol is a hormone that helps with so many functions in our body, but is a stress hormone. And when you release too much of it, it is actually toxic to our brain. And it's primarily toxic to our temporal lobe, okay, and a, a part of our temporal lobe called the hippocampus, which is responsible for our short-term memory. So if you have an adrenal gland, you actually can affect your brain function. Now the second part that adrenal glands do is they release epinephrine and norepinephrine. Now what this does is actually excites or increases our pain. Okay? 
So we say that if you've got an adrenal problem, you get stupid and you hurt more. Okay? And most of the patients that we work with have issues with their temporal lobe and they have some type of chronic pain. So the adrenal glands is a part of this web that has to be looked at. Now the last parts that we're going to talk about are our hormones. Okay. Now, hormone problems, you, maybe you have a decrease in sex drive, you have mood swings, uh, difficulty losing weight. These can be all signs of uh, hormone imbalances. Right. I'm running out of room on our web, so we're going to stop with the hormones. <clears throat> but I hope that you can start seeing that if you've got symptoms or you've been diagnosed with a thyroid issue, okay, you cannot just address or look at the part. You have to look at the whole person and you have to fix the whole person. And you need a doctor that is going to think outside the box and fix you, not just the part. My name is Dr. John Thomas. If you'd like more information about our recovery programs, please call my office at 678-456-9122 or visit us on the web at atlantathyroidrelief.com or integratedhealthcarega.com. On those websites, you will find many more videos and resources available explaining what we do in our office, as well as why your body is responding the way that you do.